Good day, everyone. This is Barn Man. And Eolio 77. We welcome you back to Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today is Saturday, October 5th, 2024. A.K.A. Thursday, Harvest Tide. The next room reveals a terrifying sight that sends shivers down your spine. A colossal insect with enormous legs, eyes, and menacing claws descends from the ceiling. It emits a menacing hiss, and its sharp mandibles clack with a malevolent rhythm. I think this is very menacing. Well, take a look at it. It's got fingers, even. Do you see that? Widow. In it's got, like, arms. It's got, it's got three legs and then arms. And... Its mandibles just look like teeth, though. Empowered Black Widow. Right. The giant insect shoots its silken webs at you to tangle you up and restrain you in the fight. Cora is going to need to complete a dexterity roll in order to attack each round. So we do not have any dexterity bonuses whether in our inventory or even within our party members. So Cora does get a plus three though. Let's see if Cora can attack the first round. She is successful in being able to attack the first round. Go ahead and attack this large colossal spider. Nine plus, oh, we forgot to do. I think we want to have our frost mage who doesn't have a name. Two. You could try to help name our Frost Mage. We would need a four in order to do that. Me? You gonna use Royal Command on that? You gonna use Royal Command on that? Me. A one again. We can use our Combat Tonic. You wanna try a Combat Tonic for this? Yeah. It's gonna add a D4 to each attack roll. So let's go ahead and, oh, you're gonna do it first? Four. Okay, four, and then we add the attack. Successful attack. Let's go ahead and do damage. See if you can damage this colossal menacing beast. Seven plus nine plus two. 16, 18 damage. Cora is going to have to defend against the attack from this menacing spider. Do you want to have her defense trio try to jump in? Crosswell. Two. Unable. Sty. Unable. Cut. Un-unable. She is all on her own, as she oftentimes is. This is a plus seven, then, defense. Cora is hit. Wolf knife. Wolf knives gives you what? Uh... Decent. To all bonus, to all defense rolls, all right. Two. You want to go ahead and add a d4 for this page? Yep. All right. Going to use the warding ointment. Thank it's four. a plus four. Cora successfully defends from the spider, dodging its clacking mandibles. No damage is suffered. Cora is going to need to attack. Restrained. But first she needs to see if she is restrained. Dexterity roll. Nat 20. Nat 20 gets that boon. She is fine. A successful hit on the creature. Let's go ahead and see if she can damage it heartily again. Four plus nine plus two. 15 damage. This large spider is doing very poorly. It tries to attack Cora, reaching up with its clacking mandibles. Defense. 17. Successfully defense. She's dodging around. She's doing barrel rolls on the floor, and she tries to attack him again, but she first needs to see if she is restrained. Cora laughs and says... Is this all you got? This is just a warm-up. Nice. That's good trash talk. 
Let's go ahead and see if uh, she can walk the talk. Twelve. We're not restrained. Not restrained. She attacks. Sixteen. Successful attack. Let's see if she can do enough damage. Eight. Eight. That's going to be ten. Let's describe how this beastie beast is defeated. Cora, uh, after talking trash, just runs up, slices off a hand, and shoots some, uh, shoots some arrows and some vines. And the beast crumples to the floor. Cora was successful, and she didn't even get damaged that entire time. Yeah. These these boss fights are not quite as bossy as the. I mean, Cora got damaged twice this week, multiple times twice this week on two different days this week from all of the smaller little fights with the spiders. But uh, she gets to the boss and like, nah, no problem. And no one was able to defend nor help her with the attacking on this, right? She did use combat taunt. She did. Yeah, she used both of and and the wording ointment. She only had to uh, use it once. And she used a wall of knives. This is true. Well, otherwise she got this. Kura, as she rummages around the corpse of the large hideous beast, she's going to roll 2d8 for Amber. You're going to have to roll that twice. Four plus four. Eight. She gets eight total, takes her amber up to ten. Cora was a beast. Against a bee. Against a beast. Well, we hope that you will join us tomorrow for our highlight video. See what the favorite moment of the week was from Elio. And probably this week we'll get a chance to do the, well, not probably, this week we'll get a chance to do the Sunday Lottery, as we weren't able to do it last week. Put a name for Rust Me. In the comments, if you would, this would be our last day to be able to hear it. We uh, will be choosing one, we hope, from a viewer's suggestion. And um, we hope that you'll join us for that highlight and see you next week when we reveal Frost Mage's name. Farewell. Bye now.